welcome to the Tudor Cottage Diaries. My name is Heidi and you are most welcome here. Um, today I just wanted to share my recipe for my chicken's dust bath, which involves using the ash that is in the collection box at the bottom of the stove um, with compost and herbs and um, some uh, mite powder to mix together and make them the most beautiful smelling dust bath. Uh, they absolutely love it. They love pecking at the herbs and the bits from it. Um, it does them really good. It's great for their gut. It's great for their feathers. Um, anyway. I'm not going to give it a full clean because I need to fill up with logs and that does involve a hoover being needed once they've been brought in through the front door. Anyway, I've got what I needed. Let's crack on. I'm going to pick some rosemary and chop this up. I'm going to pick some of the mint as well and chop this in with the rosemary. So, so far I've got the rosemary and the mint and I'm now going to pop down and get some lavender to mix in. And here we have the lavender, so I'm just going to snip off some bits of lavender to mix in. So in here I have a mix of napita, which is the cat mint, normal mint, some lemon balm, rosemary and some lavender. And this will all get chopped really finely and get mixed with the ash from the wood fire and compost and this will give the girls a beautifully scented bath. So hopefully you saw me in the garden collecting my herbs. I'm just going to tip them here because I'm just about to chop them up. Herbs relatively small and they smell incredible. So if you've seen the title, you know what we're making. So this is the last of last year's lavender. I'm going to pour half of it into this. So I've still got some for another batch. I'm going to mix it up, chop it a little bit, just to get that fragrance released. All of these herbs are good for chickens and good for their skin, good for their intestines, it's good for egg production and it makes them smell amazing. So we've got that part of the recipe there and we've got the ash. Please excuse the truck, it is a garden one. So I am going to pour half of this dry pot in here. So this is nice and um, relatively dry, it's not a wet compost but the ash will help it and then what I'm going to do is pour in all of the ash because we have this by abundance and I'm going to stir this in and then take out anything that feels too large or 
too gritty. We have a road closure outside our property today, so the whole road is being closed, and the dog is absolutely not happy with the amount of builders and machinery going past. So this is all mixed in. And this will be really good for their feathers, um, for getting rid of mites, red mites and things like that. Now what I normally add in is a anti-mite powder. Um, I don't have that in the house at the moment and it is raining. So um, I will add that in when I pop this into the chicken run. But now I'm going to add these beautiful aromatic herbs that the chickens will enjoy looking at. And et voila, the recipe is done and the chickens have a really good dust bath for them to get into their feathers. Um, they love it, they really enjoy it. So hopefully I'll be able to take some footage of them enjoying their dust bath and I'll show you the results.